Hello. The purpose of this lecture is to derive the one-dimensional heat equation from the physical principles. And the heat equation written down here can be used to, for example, describe the time evolution of the temperature profile in a thin metal rod of uniform properties and of length L. And in this interpretation, the unknown function T describes the temperature of the rod at each spatial coordinate x and at each time instant t. Um, for simplicity, we assume that the physical parameters of the metal rod are both independent of time and of the spatial coordinate x. And all of these parameters are collected into a single constant alpha. The equation also includes an initial condition which assumes that the temperature profile of the metal rod is given by a known function at time equals zero. And finally, we assume through the boundary conditions that the temperatures of the endpoints of the rod are held at constant values. In the derivation, we make certain simplifying assumptions. First of all, we assume that the rod is thin in the sense that the spreading out of the heat happens mainly in the direction along the length of the rod. We also assume that the rod is made of metal or some other material with good heat conductivity properties. And as already mentioned, we assume that the physical properties of the rod, such as the conductivity of heat and the mass density, remain constant throughout its length. And finally, we assume that the rod is insulated from its surrounding environment so that the amount of heat escaping from the rod through its surface is small compared to the diffusion of heat inside the rod. In the derivation, we will mainly use two physical principles. The first one of these is the Fourier's law, which tells us that the rate of heat flowing through a surface per unit area is proportional to the negative temperature gradient. And since this temperature gradient is given by the derivative of the temperature with respect to the spatial variable x, we arrive at the given formula where a is the area of the surface and k is the so-called thermal conductivity of the material. And as the second uh, physical principle, we use the conservation of energy, which tells us that without any internal sources or sinks of heat, the change of heat energy in any subregion of the rod is determined completely by the heat flowing through its boundaries. We begin the derivation by considering a slice of the metal rod extending from the spatial coordinate x up to x plus delta x. And here we assume that the width delta x of the slice is so small that the temperature in all of the slice is roughly constant and equal to the temperature t x t. And we can now compute the total heat energy contained in the slice of the rod. And this is given by the so-called specific heat capacity of the material times the mass of the slice and its temperature. If we denote the cross intersection area of the rod with capital A, we arrive at the following formula where rho is the mass density of the material. And if we now consider the change of the energy of the slice, this is given by the heat energy flowing through the boundary at x minus the heat energy flowing out of the slice at x plus delta x. And if we consider the change of energy over a small time interval of length delta t, then the amount of heat flowing through this boundary is are approximately the rates of the heat flows times delta t. And in addition, Fourier's law tells us that the rates of the heat flows 
can be expressed using the derivatives of the temperature with respect to the spatial variable at x and at x plus delta x. And finally simplifying the formulas we arrive at the expression on the last line which gives us the change of the energy of the slice over the time interval of length delta t. On the other hand, since we also have an explicit expression for the heat energy of the slice at time t, given here, the change of the heat energy is also simply given by the difference of the energy at time t plus delta t and at time t. And this way we can derive another alternative expression for the change of the energy of the heat in this slice of the rod. And comparing and equating these two expressions, we arrive at the first equation on the, on the slide. And if we divide both sides of the equation by delta t and delta x, and move all of the physical parameters on the right hand side, then we arrive at the following equation here. And we already assume that the delta t and delta x are both small. And if we let both of them approach zero, then the ratio on the left hand side becomes the time derivative of the temperature. And similarly, on the right hand side, the limit of delta x going to zero becomes a partial derivative with respect to x. And in total, we get a second partial derivative of t with respect to x. And the equation that we arrive at is precisely of the form of the one dimensional heat equation that we were looking for. And here we can also see how the constant alpha depends on the physical parameters of the material. And these are the thermal conductivity K, the specific heat capacity C, and finally the mass density rho of the material.